Hi everyone, it's Kristen with Exciting Finds and I am back. I know it's been forever since I've done a Dollar Tree haul or anything on YouTube. We had a baby. My husband and I had a sweet little boy named Riley. He was born July 6th, um, a year ago. So it's been a crazy whirlwind. It's been awesome. So I haven't been on since I found out I was pregnant. So we were busy getting the house ready, getting everything baby ready, nursery ready, all that good stuff. And since then we've been finding our new normal, I guess. And it's been crazy and exciting and so much fun. And I just, I couldn't imagine our life any other way right now. It's been awesome. So I'm back though because I have missed YouTube and doing some videos. I've still been going to the Dollar Tree, obviously, and things like that, but I haven't had a chance to really get on and film and show what I've picked up. And so I'm excited to get back in the routine and doing that and incorporate some baby videos and, and baby tips and, and products maybe and things like that too. If you guys would be interested in things like that, I'm certainly open to it. Please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'm gonna jump into it. I went to the Dollar Tree when they were doing their friends and family discount on Sunday. They had 10% off, so everything was 90 cents rather than a dollar. So I figured it was a good time to stock up on some things and try some things maybe that I hadn't purchased before. I don't know why, but for some reason, if it was 10 cents cheaper, it just sounded even better to me. And I thought, I'll try it now. So I'm gonna jump into it. And I'm gonna start with some food items that I picked up. They had some great name brand things there. And so let's do this. So, and I'm surrounded by stuff. I have it all around me. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so the first thing I picked up were these Pop Chips, uh, Galaxy Puffs. I have never tried these before. Uh, this is the Aged White Cheddar brand. It's a pot potato stack. My husband liked it because they have Star Wars shapes. But I thought it would be good to give it a try if it's kind of like a, a puff kind of thing, depending on how um, hard or soft it might be. It might be a good snack for my son Riley. So I picked up two bags of these. I also picked up some bread. So I love getting my bread from the Dollar Tree. When I go through the grocery store, if I need to pick up bread, it just pains me to pay like two something for a loaf of bread. Um, this is just simple. It's just the Sunbeam Queen loaf of bread, white bread, nothing crazy this time with the bread. Um, so I did pick that one up. I get really excited when the Thomas brands are at the Dollar Tree. I had never seen them before and I guess maybe a month ago I went to a different Dollar Tree, it's a much larger one, and they had an amazing bread selection. They had English muffins, they had the Thomas bagels, they had um, all kinds, I mean, just, and, and not just Thomas, but a lot of other brands too. And so I was able to pick up a couple bags uh, of bagels while I was there. So these are the Thomas blueberry bagels. So I got a pack of those, and then I also picked up, they had the plain mini bagels and the Thomas as well, so I picked up a bag of those too. Uh, one thing with the English muffins, I love them in the mornings. I put pimento cheese in the middle and melt it, and it's delicious. Uh, but they freeze really well, so I never really froze that much bread because I didn't know how it would come out. But I picked up like four packs, and I put two in the freezer. One I took two, out two weeks later, and one was a month later, and they taste just fine like they taste great to me so if you've been leery or hesitant like I was try it it'll come out totally fine um, back to the food so I picked up two more of these thin pizza crusts so we really like these um, I mean it's perfect I mean it's a dollar for the pizza crust and then we pick up the pizza sauce as well and this is the Francesco Rinaldi brand uh, I've seen this at our Food Lion, our local grocery store as well. I haven't price compared to see if this is really the best price uh, per ounce or anything like that. But this works for us. We can usually get two pizzas and some mozzarella sticks or something like that too um, for this one jar. So that's great. So picked up a couple more pizza crusts and the pizza sauce, marinara sauce. Um, jump into a couple of little baby food items. So they had these puffs, the Gerber puffs at the Dollar Tree. If you've purchased these for your little ones, you know that the cheapest place that I found them anyway, it's like $1.96 at Walmart. So when I found these at the Dollar Tree, I stocked up. This trip I just picked up one sweet potato just to have another one because when I first saw them, I bought like 20 cans and I'm not even kidding. Um, I bought like 12 or so on one trip and 
I checked my receipt later and realized that for some reason the strawberry and apple flavor rang up at 50 cents a can. So I went back and bought every single one they had in that flavor. So we are still stocked on the puffs, but if your little one likes these, I recommend checking the Dollar Tree because for a dollar a can, or if you're lucky enough to find some for 50 cents a can, that's awesome. I also found the baby mum mums. Uh, these are a rice rusk, and I have not tried, had not tried this brand before. There was a different one that was like a banana sweet potato flavor, I believe it was, um, that Riley really likes. And so I thought I would give these a try. So I picked up seven boxes of these. It's a little ridiculous, but I did pick up seven because again, for a dollar a box, I'm going to insert a screenshot up here that I took, um, of the box at Walmart. It was like $3 and 24 cents or something like that. But I'll insert a picture of exactly what the price was. I mean, to get them for a dollar. Yeah. So, and the way these are done, um, I have a box that's open, but the way they're done, you have a big um, bag inside that you open up, and then within each side uh, bag, excuse my reach, let me show you how they come. So they come in like the little silver pouch, and then within that, you get individually wrapped two packs of these little rice rusks, and they're perfect to just pop in the diaper bag, keep them, you can keep them in their car or wherever, um, and they're not gonna go bad. Um, and then they can, snack on these if you're shopping or if you're out or whatever. They're a great little snack. So, seven boxes. I went a little crazy as soon as we got home. Uh, I bought six, I guess, at the first store. And before I went back out to the second store, I gave one to make sure you liked them. I ended up just buying one more. So I'm like, really, how many do I need right now? But great savings, right? Moving right along, I also tried the, oh, it goes this way. And then it's like flipped on this side. Uh, so these are the Bud's Best cookies. I have not tried these. These are the candy and cookies. It has kind of like a mini little M&M inside. Um, does anybody remember when they had the birthday cake? I think they called them cookies. They were like a little sandwich cookie. And inside was this icing. It was fantastic. And I didn't see those. I was really hoping I would see those. I found this one and I found like a pecan cookie by this brand. But if anyone has seen, if you know what I'm talking about, and if you have seen those birthday cake cookies at your Dollar Tree, please comment below and let me know so I can be on the lookout for those because they are so good. All right, just a few more food items. So I picked up um, these. My husband really likes these peanuts. And this is the Hampton Farms brand salted roasted peanuts. We already opened this one. He's um, had some of these. Just to give you guys an idea, this is 10 ounces. Our local grocery store, he found a bag there. It was 12 ounces for like $1.99. So it is a better deal if you see this at your Dollar Tree if you want peanuts to snack on. I also picked up some Heinz 57 sauce. Um, again, my husband really likes this with like little thin pork chops he makes. And so for 90 cents a bottle, I thought that was a pretty good price to get a name brand sauce. So I picked up two of those for him. I also picked up, uh, kind of in the kitchen area, some Surefresh. Um, these are the quart size, I believe, no, sandwich size, sandwich size bags. And this was a bonus pack, so you get 65 instead of 50 for the 90 cents. I picked up some water. Normally, I don't buy bottled water from the Dollar Tree, um, but I did pick up, this is the Crystal Geyser Natural Spring Water, Alpine Spring Water. Um, I picked this up because our pediatrician actually told us to give Riley water with fluoride inside uh, because I mean, he just turned a year, but they said that he's already developing his adult teeth, which I thought was interesting. I mean, his, his baby teeth haven't all come in yet. He has eight in and a couple more that we see coming in now, but he, they're already developing at that young of an age, their adult teeth underneath too. And he said the fluoride helps with that. So I didn't find anything that said it specifically had fluoride in it, but they had some brands listed and I don't even know if this is to be honest, but I thought it's a different one. It's a Dollar Tree. I'm going to grab it and see. Um, so I picked up a pack of water. Uh, I think that is it on the food items. A few little like cleaning and things like that products. Um, so I picked up a dish brush, a little sponge cleaner, and someone recommended using this in your shower. And I thought that was a fantastic idea. Just put your cleaning product in here and use it to get the walls of your tub or shower. I thought that was fantastic. So I picked this up and then I picked up a two pack of the refill uh, sponges as well. Uh, 
something else I wanted to try again while it is 90 cents. This is my time to try everything. I picked up the Fabuloso cleaner. I've seen so many people get it. This is a 30% more um, Ocean Paradise scent. I have no idea. I just thought I would give it a try. That would be the time, right? Um, last item um, before we get into some health and beauty and that kind of stuff. Um, I picked up some dog waste bags. So you get 80 in here, um, four rolls of 20, and these are great. We have the little bone I picked up at the Dollar Tree too. It's that little plastic bone that kind of clips onto the leash. So we have that clipped on. I just needed some more bags uh, as little refills. So stocked up on those. And now we're gonna switch gears, um, get some health and beauty things, um, things like that. So I picked up the, they had some more Bolero wipes. This is the Italian Pear Facial Wipe. I really like these. To me, they seem a little bit thicker than the um, traditional ones I see at the Dollar Tree. Maybe it's just me. But I liked these. I liked the scent. So while I found some more, I picked up another pack of these. I also picked up a pack of the uh, Charcoal Wipes. So I had not given these a try yet. I thought I would try these out and see how they work. They say they detoxify and they draw out dirt and oil. So if anyone has tried these, let me know what you think of them. Um, I'm curious to see how they work, but they are black wipes and you get 30 of them in the pack. So I thought I would give those a try. And I also picked up some pure silk. This is the body wash and a coconut and oat flower scent. And it smells amazing to me. I love anything coconut, especially in the summer. I think it's fantastic. And this says it's an oat flower that soothes, soothes the skin. And I just thought I would give it a try. I have not tried anything by the Pure Silk brand and a body wash or a shampoo and conditioner, and that is coming up as well. So I found the Tea Tree Oil and Mint Shampoo, and they also had the matching conditioner, which is somewhere here right next to me. Here we go. Um, here's the conditioner that goes with it. It smells just like mint. It smells amazing. And so I thought I would give that a try for 90 cents. Um, but it is a good size. You get 14 fluid ounces, which is pretty good for that. I also picked up along the body wash lines. This is by Spa House Mind and Body uh, Hydration Body Wash. This is massive. So you get 32 fluid ounces here. It says it's an extract complex with coconut, oat, and honey extracts. And that's what it looks like. And it does smell amazing. And again, 32 fluid ounces. It's great. My husband now likes using things that I pick up, like my body wash. They had some men's um, scents in the Dollar Tree, and I had him smell some. I said, do you want me to get you some? He said, no. I like using your, like, fruity smelling ones. <laughs> so he's now on board. So I can buy any kind of body wash I want, and he's with me. Um, he's probably going to be mad that I said that, but, um, but he smells yummy. Yay. So I also picked up a set of these two facial scrubs. I haven't tried these. Um, but they just felt kind of cool, kind of like rubbery, and I thought I would give those a try. I picked up a tube of the LA Colors lipstick. They say it's hydrating. I have not tried anything like this before um, from the LA Colors brand. I've never tried their lipstick, but I liked that it said it was hydrating. It has uh, vitamin E and aloe vera, so I thought I would give that a try. This is in the sorbet color. I thought that was kind of pretty. So we'll give that one a whirl. See how that goes. I picked up this cute little toothbrush and toothpaste set for my little one. I thought that was so cute. So this has like little suction cups on the bottom and you can stand the toothbrush up. So we are brushing his teeth. He's probably not ready for this toothpaste yet. We do have a special one that he can eat because he doesn't know how to like spit it back out yet. So it's like a berry flavor and I think he just likes brushing his teeth so he can eat the toothpaste. Uh, but it does let him get him to let us brush his teeth. So this one um, we'll, we'll work into with the other toothpaste, but I thought that toothbrush was so cute, so we picked that pack up. We like their, um, I mean, it's the Greenbrier product, but it's the Clarin Danver soap, and this is antibacterial. It's a foaming hand soap. We just really like foaming hand soaps, and this one is in the fresh scent, so we picked that one up, and I have another one floating around here somewhere. I'm not sure it went. Um, that is like a pear scent, I believe. So we picked that one up as well. Cotton balls, again, time to stock up. Um, I got the cotton balls and I did pick up some cotton swabs. I'm gonna give these a whirl and see. I had some 
that I bought, another box I had bought from the Dollar Tree, and they just, there was not a lot of cotton on the tips, and I didn't really love them. I looked at these and they looked okay, um, but we'll see. Um, yeah. yeah. They're fine for like taking off makeup and stuff, but if you want to do anything else where you want like a softer tip, if you're cleaning around the outside of your ears or anything like that, it might not be the best for that. That's just my experience though. And I really don't know where that other bottle of soap got to, so it's right behind me. Uh, it is. It's the pear scent. Yeah, that's the other one that we picked up. One more thing that I missed hiding back here from the kitchen stuff. Um, we did pick up this glass cutting board. I just thought it would be nice to have another little cutting board. It has little rubber feet on it. It is nice and glass. If you want to cut something little with a little one, we're constantly cutting things into little pieces for him. So we just thought we'd pick that up, um, have another little cutting board on hand. Now I think we are ready to move into some home stuff and some uh, toys and random goodness. So the next thing I picked up, so these are disposable placemats and you get 10 in here. And I picked these up because when we go out to eat with Riley, it's hard to get something. I usually just lay down like a napkin and put his food on top of it because if it's a plate, he's gonna like pick it up and toss it. Like that's just what he's gonna do right now. So um, I thought, oh, these are great. I can lay them down. Usually I just put like the edge of something at the top to kind of hold it there, like at the edge of the plate that he can't quite reach, but it holds the napkin down. I thought I would do the same thing with these. So I picked these up. We were later at Walmart and we picked up a pack of 12 because they said adhesive. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Like you can stick them down to the table. He won't pick them up and throw it away. Like that's perfect. So then I got home and I looked at these again and these are adhesive too. Yeah. Um, these have adhesive strips to stick them in place. So if anyone else wants these, buy them from the Dollar Tree where you get 10 for a dollar. Don't go to Walmart and pay $3 for 12. Just don't do it. That's what I did. Don't do it. I picked up a t-shirt, um, they had, I picked it up because I could tell that it was Adidas. So uh, it's super soft, it's just a bright color. I think I got a medium. I just wanted something that was kind of big and loose that I could just throw on with a pair of leggings and just for around the house, that kind of thing. But they have taken whichever brand it was um, for any of the other t-shirts and they have this like massive um, imprint that they've done to cover up who it actually is. But when I had this, I was able to kind of like hold it up <laughs> just right. And I saw that it was Adidas. So I thought that was interesting, but I picked it up. It was super soft. So, you know, if you want a t-shirt just to lounge around in, or I've picked up small ones like a 2T that my son can grow into that, you know, he could paint in or he could do whatever. So you don't really care what happens to it if it, if you don't have a lot invested in it. So I picked up a little t-shirt for myself. Um, random little item. I just thought this was so cute. So I don't really need another like thing to sit up anywhere, but we do have, um, this room that I film in has a piano. It's a big black piano and the accessories in here are kind of black and gold. I think you might be able to see a little bit on the shelf next to me. And I thought this was just perfect. So I can put this on the bookshelf we have in here, put it on top of the piano and yeah, nothing crazy, but it was cute. I'd never seen this before. I just saw them at the $1 tree. They have them like this and they also had the silver with the black base as well. So if anyone can tell, I've been like moving down the couch. I'm like slowly like pulling stuff from behind me and moving myself down. So we're down to the final few items. So I'm gonna try to make this quick and not keep you here forever. Um, I picked up a guitar. So my little one-year-old is obsessed with my husband's guitar. Okay, if he sees it, he wants at it. He wants to beat on it. He wants to strum the strings. He loves the sound. So we saw this and thought for 90 cents, uh, let's give it a try. Let's see what we think. Um, we've not given it to him yet, so we'll see. I'll let you know later how well it holds up. It does have little like string kind of things, but we'll see. We also picked up a little harmonica for him. My husband and father-in-law both play the harmonica, so we thought it would be fun for him to have one for himself. They do say four plus on this, so I don't know when we'll give this one to him. The guitar actually says three and up on the ages, but I'll probably just go ahead and give that to him. I don't know that I'll wait on that one really. I picked up another light bulb. So I do like their uh, LED light bulbs. These are, 
Globe LED for Life, I guess is the brand. Um, this is a warm light, 65 watt, uh, comparable, and we use those in the recess lights in our kitchen and they work great. So I picked up another one um, while I was there. Also picked up a few more packs of batteries. I like to get the alkaline um, set, so I picked up a four pack of the AAA in the Sunbeam Alkaline. And I also picked up, this is Panasonic Alkaline Plus Power, so you only get two in this pack because it's that plus. But I thought for some of my son's battery life sucking toys, this would be great. Maybe it'll last a little bit longer and keep some of those toys going a little bit longer. And uh, another pack, Sunbeam. Um, this is the AA in that one. I also picked up this tape measure set. So you get like the tape measure that you pull out. You also get this a um, little bit more of a fabric tape measure. So we wanted that just so we can like measure my son if we want to. When we go to the doctor, like they measure his head, they measure his length and everything. But we thought it'd be kind of neat just to have one that if we want to measure him or ourselves, like however, just to have one um, of this style on hand as well. I picked up some of the canvases. So I finally saw these. They had not had these in any of my Dollar Trees, but um, the one I went to uh, the second time when I went out, um, they had these and they had the, this is the eight by 10. They also had like two packs of the five by seven, I believe it was, and then they had the four by six. I can't remember how many you got in that pack, but I picked these up because I wanted to do an activity uh, with Riley. I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I saw a super cute idea on Pinterest where when they turn one, you put like a number one and you can use like a stencil, you could use uh, masking tape, whatever you want, and you make the number one on here and kind of tape that off and then you give them finger paint and they paint and then when they're done, you can peel off the number one so then you have the, the one showing in their artwork and then that's just to show that they did that when they were one. It's like their first piece of art. So I picked up four thinking it could be something kind of cute that we could put like up on the wall, like one, two, three, four and have him do one each year for the first four years kind of my thought process, so we'll see if, if we get around to that. But for a dollar to get a little canvas panel, I liked that these were panels as well, because you could easily frame them then and hang them on the wall. They're not anything too super thick. I also picked up a balloon. This is a foil balloon. So cute. So I have already planned the themes for my child's birthday parties. I'm kind of ridiculous like that. Um, but I did plan those already. And I figure I have like the first three years right? Do I? I don't know. Anyone else with the little ones? Do I have the first three years to, to pick the themes and then he'll get a say? That's my plan anyway. So the first birthday was officially one. It was a little fish themed. And I'm thinking when he turns two, he can be too handsome, like TWO handsome, and do like little like mustaches and cute little stuff like that. And then three, I thought could be wild and three. And so I saw some cute pictures on Pinterest and I thought to have like a foil number three and then Anyway, it's part of my vision. So the way this comes, it comes with the um, the balloon for the number, and then you also get this little straw in the back to blow it up. So these are not helium filled. Instead, you would like hang it um, from up above and have it hang down. So I just figured I'd go ahead and pick one of those up and set it aside for, you know, when he turns three. Uh, I also picked up a pack of thank you cards. These are part of the Hallmark Expressions line that are all over Dollar Tree right now. I thought these were so cute, thank you. Um, and just sent out little thank you cards from Riley's first birthday and I thought these were just precious. You get a pack of, how many are there? I think there's 10, I might be making that up. I don't see, huh, there we go. Let's bounce it down, bounce it down, bounce it down, eight. Sorry, the uh, envelope was stuck up. They're eight in here. Uh, and normally they are $3.89. So that was a great buy on those. I picked up a couple cards because I thought they were so cute. Look at this adorable birthday card. I thought that was so cute with the gold foil. Make it big. Um, and on the inside it says big day, big smiles, big fun, happy birthday. So cute. And I picked up this one, Good Tunes. So cute. Um, and then on the inside, good times and good friends. Hope it's all good on your birthday. So I thought that was cute. And that is, oh, no, no, lies. Just kidding. Two more items. Um, I picked up some more tool. I love having this on hand to wrap packages. It's great for tying around and making a big bow on top. So I picked up another pack of that. And then I picked this guy up. I thought he was so cute. I mean, 
thank you Dollar Tree like this is adorable this black metal little sphere and then you get the air going through I mean so cute so I picked this up again thinking maybe it could go here in this room that is it for right now. I have a few more items that I'm not gonna show you right now. They are some back to school things. I wanna do a back to school giveaway, so I'm saving those items for that, uh, that video, so keep an eye out for that. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. I'd love for you to join my little YouTube family that it's back, I come back, I'm coming back, I'm super excited, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. So thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, bye.